Hello everyone, I want to show you the new feature that we have added to browser link. This new feature is SSH tunnels, and SSH tunnels let you tunnel your local development copy to browser link. Let's see how it works. So here I have a local development copy of my blog running at a computer nearby. It's at uh, 192.168.12 port 5000, and now I'll just go ahead and tunnel it to browser link. So let's go into browser link and uh, choose the SSH menu from the right. And we'll be tunneling port 5000. And let's click the open tunnel button here. This generates an SSH command that you can just copy and paste to your terminal. So I'll go to the terminal and open a new screen session and paste the command here. And now it will ask me for my SSH password. So now I have the tunnel open and I can go back to browser link and click the visit link here. And this will open the tunneled, uh, the tunneled website in browser link. I also want to show you that the tunnels work from Windows. So if you go to the SSH menu again, then you can close the existing tunnel and go to the Windows tab and open a new tunnel, which will generate the command for Windows. And on Windows you use plink.exe that you can download from uh, putty download page. I have it already downloaded, so I'll just show you how it works. So I'll be tunneling my local computer here, 192.168.1.2 port 5000. And I'll just open the tunnel here, and it, this generates the command for plink. So I'll just copy it and open the Windows shell here, and paste it. And uh, it will ask me for my SSH password again. So I'll enter that. And now I have the tunnel open from Windows, and I can click the visit link again. And that will open the, the tunneled website. And finally, I want to talk about the security of tunnels. So when you generate the SSH command, we generate this random port and we open it up with IP tables. So if I go to the tunnel server and list the IP tables rules, then only this port will be open. So in our case, it's 56846. And this is the same port that, that, that we used for tunneling. So only this port is uh, open. So the, this port is accepted and all the other ports are rejected. So now when we close the tunnel, IP tables runs on the tunneling servers, server and the rule gets removed. So there is no way someone would be able to access your local copy. Thanks for watching the demo and be sure to check out Browserling at browserling.com and you can also follow the founders of Browserling, that's me Peter and James on Twitter and our handles are pkrumins, that's p-k-r-u-m-i-n-s and James is at substack. Bye!